Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to my newest Let's Play series of Europa Universalis 4. And the new expansion is coming relatively soon, so I think I'll do a shorter campaign. But we'll see. Mm, I'm going to start a game as England. Um, because I've been watching the Tudors recently and I quite enjoyed the show. Um, well, I'm still watching it anyway. Um, anyway, I have not played a proper game as England. And they do have the unique government, so I would like to. And, yeah, that's about it. I think this will be a shorter game uh, until the release of a new expansion, but we'll see how it goes. And to make things a bit more interesting, I'll go with a random new world. And, of course, an Iron Man game. England is quite powerful and has some diplomatic opportunities as well, uh, but it starts in a crisis. We have a shit king, a true shit king, a zero, zero, zero. Um, so yeah, this is a problem. There are basically two ways we can get out of this. Well, three ways. We can get into a regency, we can get an heir, or we can get the Disa disaster War of the Roses. Let's go with Iron Man, of course. So um, the War of the Roses can be problematic, but um, it's not a you know game ender. Also, the game has changed a bit, and we start with an additional province. Um, and I played the test game here, Maine. We apparently we have promised it to France, and they will um, ask to get it. And if we don't get it, we start a war. Um, in my test game, I thought that's a wonderful idea. Let's fight France. But then I, it turned out that if this happens, I'm technically the attacker in the war. So none of my allies join me, and all of France's allies join them. So my decision on that will strongly depend on whether. On whether um, France has any allies. Because I think I could beat them if they don't. But if they do, it will be very difficult. Alright, let's... Uh, multiple the forts here. And start diplomacy. So, let's see. Oh. France doesn't hate me? No, they do. They just haven't rivaled me. Interesting. I'm hated by Denmark, Burgundy, and Scotland. It's weird that Scotland can rival me. Um, Castile hates France and is... Uh, sorry, hates France and Aragon. Aragon hates the Pope, the Mamluks, and Morocco. Um, it would be nice if I could ally both of them. I can certainly ally Castile. I cannot ally Aragon just yet, but... But if I ally Aragon, I should then be still able to ally Castile. And for a third um, ally, I think I would like to have Austria. <coughs> okay, let's start um, by getting an advisor with Diplorep. Will that uh, let me form the alliance with Aragon? Almost. Almost. It will be enough to improve relations slightly. To do that. Oh, also, we have Navarra nearby, mm, and it is possible for us to vassalize them diplomatically, and it would be helpful. Well, it's also possible to vassalize some Irish miners diplomatically, but I think I'll go with Navarra, because it can provide some help against France. So let's improve relations with Navarra as well, and I'll keep one diplomat ready. Now, advisors. Mm, level 1, we can't afford more than that. Oh, that's that's not good. Reinforce speed. I was hoping for him, um, for a d um, discipline guy. Hmm. Should I fire him? I hope for a better one. Let's try it. National decisions, advancement of religion. No, thank you. Improve our prestige. Solidify our papal relation. Mm, improving our prestige would be nice, but. I don't see that happening anytime soon. Also, debate in the parliament. What would we want to have? Hmm. This would be nice. Technology cost reduction. Maybe not just yet. Also, expanding the army is nice. I guess I'll try... It might be too early for this. Let's do the expansion of army. And we have too few seats. It's good to uh, grant seats to provinces with high development, so I'm going to grant one to Essex. Alright, now. 
Uh, another advisor, we're waiting for him to appear. And Looming Disaster, yes, this is the War of the Roses, I told you about that. It's a problem. And I'm not decreasing um, military maintenance and all that, because we might be fighting a war against France soon. Also, I'm going to build my troops up to the force limit. So that's... One, two, three, four... That many. All right then, let us unpause the game. Okay, military alliance between Castile and Navarra. Yeah, we'll do that too. First want to get Aragon in an alliance. And then quickly Castile. Oh, they have, in, they have both disinherited their heirs, which is a nice opportunity for us. France doesn't hate me, which is interesting. Tyrone, I would probably ally them, but... I don't really... have any good reason to do so. I should probably recall the guy from Aragon. Don't need him there anymore, and I'll start improving relations with Austria. Because we have sufficient relations for an alliance with Aragon already. To be honest, we didn't even need... The relations, just getting a stronger army, would have been sufficient. And I am not... And I'm not sending my ships to protect trade, because I might need them to fight, if we start war against France soon. France is allied with Provence. That is not really a danger to me. I mean, it is, but not such a huge one. Um, judging by their allies and um, and rivals, they could theoretically rival Aragon. Which would be a problem for me. So let's quickly ally Aragon. Now rival France. And... France and Burgundy hate each other. So I can safely rival Burgundy. I'm not going to rival Scotland just yet. Okay, Aragon is now my ally. It is unlikely that they will ally France. Now I want to ally Austria. Um, we don't... we have common rivals, but it didn't... Well, I guess we'll get the enemy of enemy modifier. Now it's time to ally Castile before they change their attitude towards us. Well, for alliance to Castile. This way we will have both. All the Iberian powers are now allied to us. All three of them. Now, I will also improve um, relations and form an alliance with Navarra and Austria. That will be one, two, three, four, five relations. I need to do Austria first, because Navarra will agree even if I am over the relationship limit. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You guys, get ready. Oh, France is allied with the Pope. This is a problem. If I, were to, if I were to fight them, then being allied with the Pope is indeed a problem. Let's um, get a royal marriage. Oh, that's a nice queen. I'm wishing for a regency right now. Um, yeah. How about that military advisor? Did we get a better one? M land maintenance modifier. Well, that's not good. Good, but that's not shit either. Uh, if I am to fight France, I wouldn't need a, mm, I would need a discipline guy. Oh, also, let's make our king a general because I want him dead. Hmm, the other general we have is pretty good. He has shock value. Okay, our troops are ready to attack Paris if. We so choose. And we have a nice general. Still no military advisor. Yeah, I'm spending a lot of money on that, but if we get bonus... Uh, bonus... Um, discipline, it will be worth it. Whoops, what did I click? Okay, we're very close to getting an alliance with Austria. Just a few more months. Okay, Poland formed the Union of Lithuania, which is the only sensible choice. In their case, the other option is just stupid. 
Anything else? I guess I could get a mission, but... Hmm. Reclaim Armagnac. Where is it? Here. I guess. But if we start fighting France, I think we'll get the event um, that will make this war a war over the throne of France as well. So if we could win that, we'd get all of France. Trade protection against Scotland, don't, don't really care about that. I, I don't think I can fight France, Provence and the Papal State at the same time. Although the Pope is far away, so maybe we could, especially if I send my troops to block him. My ships, I mean. Argon and Castile has dis have disputed succession, which is an opportunity. Austria, how about that alliance? Almost there. Almost there. Okay. Alliance with Austria. Wonderful. They should offer the royal marriage on their own. I really need to keep improving relations with them right now. I'm going to work, work on the Navarra. Yes, Austria, I would gladly accept a royal marriage with you. I would also gladly have my king die. But we don't have an heir, so it will be a problem. Oh, what happened? Provence and France are no longer allied. Interesting, so they only have the Pope. This might be a good situation for me. They have claimed the throne of Provence, that is why. Well, I'm not going to declare war on them, but... Actually, I might declare war on them. I think I'm going to use the event with Maine to attack them, and I might promise Castile some land to join the war. It would be a good moment to attack them, but... I think I'll wait for the event. Maybe we can make Navarra a vassal in the meantime. Yes, I know I have too many relations. Not a problem. Okay, I need to send them a gift and influence them. They desire a province of mine. Hmm. I'm going to offer them military access. So, do you want French land? How do I... You do want French land. I wonder, if I attacked them now, normally, if I just attacked them like this, with Reconquest, would the thing with the, the Hundred Years' War come back automatically? Because when I refused to give up Maine, it did come back automatically. I think I'll have to wait a bit and see. How about that military advisor? Crap, they're still, they're still bad. On the other hand, I need the points, because military technology early on is very important. And my king is shit. Hmm. Right. Oh, we have an heir! That is surprising. And also means the War of the Roses will not happen. I, cool, I guess. Hmm. I mean, the, the air is good. The, our current king is shit. But hopefully we can get him killed in a battle or something. Manpower modifier. Okay, that's better than nothing. Manpower modifier will be significant. Now, Navarra. Military access. Here you go. Now we send you some money. And you shall be ours. A nice little vassal. So yeah, we're basically getting ready for a war with France. Did they get any more allies? No, they did not. So if it works out, it will be great. If I can make Castile join me, that is. But I, I see no reason for that to fail right now. Oh, or if their king dies, I can get the union over Castile. Maybe I can rule all of this. We'll see. England is fun to play. Yeah, I know I should probably deal with Ireland and Scotland, but I feel like making swift moves over here is more important. So how about Navarra as a vassal? Mm. Influence nation. Sure. That'll cost us a bit. But now it's enough for me to guarantee them, or wait three months, or 
um, transfer trade power from them, and they will agree to be a vassal of ours. Which is great. Argon and Castile have no heirs. Austria apparently does have an heir. But that's Austria. They always do. Hmm, 443. Decent. Uh, trade embargo between France and Burgundy. Nothing too surprising. They hate each other after all. I mean, they don't always hate each other, but in this case they do. Okay, so, how about that event? It fired very quickly in my test game. You're right. It's enough if I wait until next month. I don't need to do anything else. 1st of January I can make Navarra a vassal of mine. They'll be in the influence actions. Here we go. Hey, Navarra. Wonderful. Uh, did not change Castile's attitude towards me. Wonderful. Holland and Flanders are fabricating claims on me. I can handle them if that happens. I guess I could... I guess I could mothball Calais. Temporarily. That'll improve my finances a bit. Yes, I know. Alliance with Navarra is breaking. That's because they're my vassal. Improve the capital. Base tax for manpower. Or base tax for money. I guess I'll spend some manpower. Sure. Come on, France. Demand that province. Oh, the Aragonese king has been excommunicated. Interesting. And if he dies, we get the dynasty. And if the Castilian king dies, we get a... Succession War, which is also wonderful. Okay, anyone else who is maybe thinking of being my subject? Serbia, 69 years old. That's promising, but also they're being conquered by the Ottomans, so forget that. Denmark hates me. Provence, interesting. You do not hate me. Would you like to be my friend? Well, you might want to have a royal marriage with me. How about Brittany? Brittany likes me also. They hate Provence, though. Huh. I mean, I would probably like to vassalize Brittany. They're allied with Burgundy, so that would be a problem. Brittany is not in a dispute succession, though. Okay, let's just get a royal marriage with Provence and see what happens. Will I get your dynasty? No. Unfortunately. I'll consider the alliance. Okay, right now I'm waiting for that event to fire. I guess I could just declare war on France. Hmm. Reclaim Armagnac. You'll prestige and manpower. I guess I could do more diplomatic stuff. Yeah, I know my diplomacy is crap uh, right now, but I could work on the Irish miners. Or just improve relations with my allies to make sure that these alliances are going to last. Let's do that. Don't need to improve relations with Navarra right now. I need a diplomat ready, just in case something happens. Oh, I guess I could... Yeah, let's forget Austria for now. Let's improve relations with the Pope. The Pope will still join uh, the war on uh, the French side. However, um, having improved relations with him earlier should save us from a possible excommunication. Hmm. Yeah, I'm being cautious. Maybe I should not be cautious. No, no. Oh, that's the event. Okay, so if I honor my obligation, uh, Maine will go to France and I lose stability. If I do not honor this obligation, we start a war against France. And I am going to start a war against France. Let's see what happens. We have the Restoration of Union. And I should be able to beat them. Although their, their general is so good. But they'd have twice the numbers. Should I or should I not attack Paris? With doubled troops, I probably should. Okay, let's make sure that we can call Castile to arms. I'm going to have to promise them land, but I can always lie, can't I? Here we go. 
And the Pope will be in this war as well, so let's make sure to block any papal intervention. At least any naval papal intervention. And that's about it. Let's see what happens. Castile honored the military alliance. And so did Navarra, and so did the Pope. But that means we should have the upper hand with Castile. On the other hand, France has a powerful army. So... Who knows? Oh, they don't have full morale. They were not on full support, uh, full military support. So there is a chance. There is a chance. But this going well. And there's a mission to occupy Paris. Let's do that. Wonderful. I wiped their army. We wiped their army. That's wonderful. Okay, where can I go? We cannot go here. We can't really go anywhere. Is Maine a fort? No, but Paris is blocking us. Okay, I'm going to... Oh, I need to use... Oh, right, I need to wait a day after the battle. That's it. We can move here or here. Or to P2. Let's go to Maine and... On the other hand, they will have another army in the south. Okay, okay, let's be let's just be cautious. Yeah, we'll probably have to betray our friendship with Castile because I don't want to give up any land. Stop, stop that. Run away. Run away. Yeah, we don't need to confront that army. What we need to do is siege Paris. If we can avoid the fight, good. If we can't avoid the fight, I will need to, um, you know, get those troops together. Provence. Oh, you no longer have a royal marriage with uh, the Valois. So why do you get their dynasty if your guy dies? Hmm. Maybe I don't have enough prestige. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Castile has invaded France. Marvelous. I might even give them something just to shut them up. Because they seem to be a very useful ally. I think I'll move this way, after all. With the Castilians here, we should be able to defeat any French onslaught. Okay, let's speed the game up. Trade protection against uh, Scotland. Mm, Scotland doesn't really have a case against me. If I beat France, I'll be able to beat Scotland easily. So let's fabricate some claims on them. Yeah, I think I'm inclined to think that I might give this to Castile. Just to keep them as an ally. Aragon, how do you like me? A lot. Good. So we have powerful allies. Portugal, Castile, Aragon and Austria. And we might get a union over France if this goes well. Which means we will be way over our diplomatic relations limit, but that's not a problem for me. Oh, the Castilians are going to lose the battle here. Can't do anything to help them. We lost the royal marriage with Aragon. Oh, goody! We have the same dynasty now. We're also allies, so I can't claim their throne and do anything to, you know, form a personal union over them forcefully. And even if I could, it is difficult. We will need to dominate the seas, and we're busy in the war right now. But let's cultivate this relationship. It is possible that we will get... A union of them by diplomatic means. Okay, the Castilians have moved their army. Maybe they will be in time to provide reinforcements. And they were, apparently. Great. Wonderful. Uh, Scotland is fabricating claims on us. That should not be a problem. Especially since we have avoided the War of the Roses. I mean, we can still get it, but uh, we should be safe now. Relatively. The only problem is that our king is literal shit, but hopefully we can get him killed somehow. Oh, Scotland is conquering Ireland. Well, we'll just conquer Scotland then. I wonder if I can make them a vassal in one war. Probably not. And Brittany would be a better vassal, probably. Okay, are you going to attack me with this army? It's entirely possible. Yes, you are going to attack me in this army. All right, we need to support our troops. 
actually. We need to support our troops quite a lot. Just return here when you're done. Yeah, we should beat them easily with this amount of troops. As you can see, we have the upper hand in terms of terrain and the amount of troops used. So we should be more than all right. Oh, cool. We got a better leader. Also, it is time to end this first episode. I feel the war with France is going well. I might give a bit of France to Castile to cultivate our relationship, especially since there is a good chance that I will get personal unions over all of them at some point. We already have the same dynasty as Aragon. Okay, uh, as I said, this is enough for this episode. I hope you're enjoying this series, and again, I will remind you, it is probably going to be a shorter one, because we're anticipating a new expansion. Yeah, let me know what you think, and goodbye!